All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me today as we continue our quest through Karanos on our human warlock. We are headed off to Brunel Village now to uh, do a turn in and fight some leper gnomes, I suppose. So. Let's head off into the snow. Uh, we'll freshen up that. And what's going to be our best way there? I don't know. There's a lot of hills and mountains. and uh, I don't really know what's going to be quickest. I can't cast that. I guess we'll just fight things along the way and see what happens. I think our find herbs should be active. I do see it hiding underneath all these other icons. Yep, and here's an herb, so it is active. We should be able to collect them as we go. That's right. We've also got the uh, let's see the dots now. The trolls that live on the hill are also a thing. I guess we ended up in the frozen river, which is good. We know that that goes where we need to go. So, I'm happy with that. And did we... Uh, looks like our bags are mostly empty, though. So, we've got the best knife on that we can. We do have these... Uh, sharpened stone that we were given. I don't think we're going to use those just yet, though. Um, what is... I think we just ran by Silverleaf, but that's okay. I believe once this opened up into the lake, we saw... What's in it for me? the way up the side of the mountain. Our last trip through here. So let's get rid of this guy. And... Um... Well, certainly that is not the way up the side of the mountain. But I'm all but certain we did see a viable way up. Didn't, didn't we? Did we not? Let's walk a little further into the lake and then turn around. The visibility in the snowstorm is not the best. So it's possible that there's a way up that is being hidden from us. Well, there's definitely a way up. I guess on the mini map here, we can see a trail. Um, and it stands to reason too far away. that that trail is going to lead us up. So we will try that after we collect this peace bloom and fight whatever enemies we encounter on our way to it. These boars, I guess we should be uh, just killing everything, right? Let's just go ahead and experience this experience at this point. this next one. So Relief, I think we'll go uh, chase after that as well. Seems as it's not too far away. Um, we'll really put our imp onto killing him. I guess we probably should have put on our damage spells uh, to help the imp out before picking this. But, well. I need to get closer. He's doing quite all right by himself. And he resisted our Shadow Bolt, of course. There we go. Got the aim pretty low there, but I think we're okay. okay. There is the path up. You can see the torches lighting the way. So this trail does go up here. 
and then we will take it. So up here, I believe Shimmer Ridge, where we will find Shimmer Weed. And let's see on the map. Okay, that fully... No, there's still an area down here that's sort of fogged out. But it looks like pretty much the rest of this area, maybe over here, is fogged out. I don't know. We're, we're slowly filling in our map. How about that? We'll say it like that. Um, it's a camp up here, clearly, and there's a bridge over there. Uh, I'm not sure where the bridge goes to, but I see our yellowish dots up ahead over here um, so I guess we'll send him in first these are only level 8 so it shouldn't be too bad but there's a few of them over there oh and we've aggroed all of them so that is exactly what we didn't want to do so let's run away. One of them is going to die, which is nice. And let's hope the others have turned away. And our imp also lived, which is surprising. And they retreated. So now there's just two of them. Uh, I'm a little wary to take on three, but I'm pretty sure we could take two of them on without too much trouble. So we're going to go ahead and just fight these guys here. Looks like this guy's going to walk in melee range. Um, hopefully we're going to kill him before he kills us. Get ready to bandage. Let's use one. Uh, these bandages, pretty easy to use. Pretty quick to use. Uh, and pretty cheap. We get, we seem to get a lot of them. Is this one guy? Uh, we can take him by himself. I didn't want to. But our imp sometimes seems to have a mind of his own. Um, please die. Thank you. There's another guy there. So let's let the imp get a good amount of damage on the first, because we don't want to take him on. It seems like a crowded area. And I would prefer the imp die to us dying. Uh, I would prefer no, no deaths. As a matter of fact, so there's there goes one shimmer, shimmer weed. There goes another. Um, but well the drop rate is a hundred percent. And I guess there are baskets too. That, the quest did tell us there were baskets. Sure enough, there are. Um, so it seems like this. Is there a cave, too? I don't want to go into a cave with those guys, because they did kind of hurt. Oh, there's one in the basket. Are we just going to finish up that quickly, just like that? Okay, apparently we are. Uh, so let's get this guy dead, and then let's hurry up. loot him, and then run out of here before those guys all respawn. Oh, we got another pouch. Uh, we are all pouched out, so uh, it's the thought that counts, but we're not going to be able to use that. Uh, there goes our, our Shimmer Weave Perfect Stout. Where does that turn in? That doesn't show us where it turns in, but I'm all but certain that we picked that up in Brunel Valley. Uh, he wanted them. Oh, this guy's on the path now. Okay, that's interesting. They weren't here when we came up. I believe someone in Brunel Village wanted these shimmer leaves to add to their brew. Uh, so we should turn in there. And we were headed there anyways. So we will find out. 
And here's another guy on the path. Okay. Someone must have come up this path uh, not long before us and cleared these guys out. Because there was definitely nothing on the path on our way up. And when we retreated to the path, there was nothing on it. Well, that finishes that off. Uh, so we'll walk in this general direction. And then, uh, yeah, we'll turn that in. We'll head over to our uh, gnome again, leper gnomes. Actually, what we're going to do, don't worry, we're not going to do this for long. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try fishing. We haven't fished yet. Uh, we do. We did see someone fishing in here earlier, and so we're gonna give it a shot. I'm not good at fishing. I forget exactly how you do it. I think you right click when the bobber goes off. Um, we uh. Did we miss the bobber, or are we just not having any luck? Oh, there it goes. And our very first time, we got a raw, brilliant small fish. That is brilliant. Let's do one more, and then we'll uh, continue on. So let's wait for a jiggle on our bobber. And there it goes, and we get another small fish. Excellent. Um, we don't have, we're going to have to get some cooking recipes for the fish. Because uh, that sort of, I guess that's the point of fishing, right? Is that you, you bring up your cooking with what you catch while fishing. Killing two birds with one stone, I guess. Just about here into Brunel Village. Uh, there's a bear. Let's see if he's going to come at us. No, it doesn't look like he is. Where are the huts? There they are. Came in at a little bit of an odd angle. So let's get our turnings. And. Talk to me. So I think both of these quests are going to turn in with the same guy. Do you have that shiver weed? I almost have a batch of stout ready to brew, and I want to try throwing the weed in there with this mixture. Well, there you are. Choose our reward. Uh, so let's see what we have on our back. Right now, we have a 10 armor, and he's going to give us a 9. That's no good. Our bracers, he's going to give us an 8, and we have a 7. So let's get that small upgrade. But we'll take it. We also should put our knife back on. And our rod off. Oh, what is this? Uh, I'd like my brother Wellart to try my new Shimmer Stout. He's a mountaineer stationed in the Southern Guard Tower. One of two towers on the border to Loch Moden. He may not brew like the rest of us brew bar <laughs> barley brews. But he loves his drinks, and I know he'll like this one. Can you bring him this barrel of Shimmer Stout for me? Uh, certainly we can. So let's uh, say yes to that. With you. I don't meet the requirements for the quest. Let's just you got my attention. What are the requirements? Uh, well, let's turn this one in. So we'll turn that in. That will give us... Uh, what did that give us? Mug of Shimmering Stout, which restores some mana. Throw that up there. And we'll put that on, um, on our number pad 3 in case we need that in combat. 
So we don't meet the requirements for this quest because we're required to be level eight, and we are. So what happened? Then? Yeah, good. Quest accepted. I don't know, but it let us take it the second time around. So be it. Uh, do we have anything to cook while we're here in town? Quickly. Uh, we have one roast boar meat, so let's roast to that. And then uh, we'll empty our bags. What can I do for you? Not that we've collected all that much. This thunder ale. We didn't end up using that. Uh, these boar ribs, they seem like they're still a, while, a, a ways away, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, see, I don't know. Do we try to sell that pouch, or do we just off it to the NPC? I mean, pouches are nice, but is there an economy on this server looking for our six-slotted pouches? I don't know. Keep your feet on the ground. Let's, we'll keep it for now. How about that? And now we'll head off in this direction and fight the leper gnomes and pick up the peace bloom, which is right there. Uh, okay. Blast him. Why is Shimmer Stout still up there? I guess that's just the name of it, even though we've uh, delivered the Shimmer Weed and now we're delivering the Stout to his brother. So it's still the same quest line and it still has the same quest line, I guess. Is that you? Pick up the peace bloom. And here is no no more gone. No more gone gone. I really don't know how to say that. Um So let's just head in and find some gnomes. You see one uh right there. Oh they're level eight. Okay, so these this shouldn't be too hard of a quest. I don't know how many we'll need to kill. We need eight of each of the items. It doesn't tell us what the drop rate is. Um, so we got one. That's good. Better than nothing. And grab this guy. He's a level 10. So he's a little bit higher. We'll let him come to us. We're definitely going to want to pull these guys one at a time. Seeing as they're a higher level than us. And I don't know how dangerous they're going to be to us. Um, take this guy out. As we are familiar with the cell leopards by now. And we'll continue on to get the peace bloom, which is what I had my eye on the entire time. And why don't you go grab that guy? Okay. And now we go. Oh, this is bad. I don't know how that happened, or where he came from. Come on, Imp. We need your DPS here. This Arkham's pretty good. Oh, this is bad. Uh, we're just, we're gonna run and hope that the Imp takes them for long enough. We 
Are you turning back yet? Okay, now you are. All right. Well, um, let's bandage up. I'm using the bandages more than the food because, well, quite frankly, we had more. And they both restore about 60 health. Bandages do it uh, much quicker. And we have more of them. So that's what we've been using. Now, why... Where did they come from all of a sudden how I didn't see them? We're not doing a good job at checking our flanks before we dive in somewhere. That's happened to us a lot of times. And it's only going to get us killed over and over again if we keep doing it. work our way back so I think maybe they were respawns because we just had those guys two guys we killed and they weren't there on our way I just don't know it keeps feeling like there are respawns in areas where there doesn't seem to be anybody else currently playing Is that a chest? Then it is not a chest. Sadly. Okay, 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 okay. See, they run pretty far. I feel like I should bolt another time and not let them run, because that may end up aggroing some of their friends. So I think we're gonna. We're gonna double bolt these guys to make sure they're dead, even though know, after one bolt they look close, so I guess it's black. But. Let's see. Let's see. That gas cannot be good for us. Spewing green poison. I don't know what that's all about. If there's a bit left, we're gonna just we're gonna bolt them as quickly as we can. And there is a peace bloom down there. I don't know if I want to go that deep into their territory though. Maybe we will. Oh, we've got this guy. So, let's do it. Did he resist our emulate as well? It's not you. It's not you. It's Looks like he didn't really uh, take as much damage as the other guys. Something was up there. Oh, hey. I don't know where. The thing is, they're so small, they hide behind all of this uh, main one junk. And you just don't see them. Uh, this guy comes out of nowhere. You know, we've had a lot of fun together. It's been really Come on in. There you go. I think we're going to bandage again because as we said we have a lot of them and we can make more because these guys are are dropping cloth left and right do we want to go all the way i don't think we want to fight through all these bears and everything just for a peace bloom um, we finished up that quest 
So is that. Now let's head over here. Let's see what this is all about. The Terror of Chill Breeze. Okay. So we will have some of these guys to fight on the way out. Do I have to? Oh, here's an actual chest, though. Excellent. Let's see what it's got for us. It would really be nice to get a wand. I don't even know if that's possible in a chest, but let's hope for it. Alright. Opening. And we've got a healing potion, which is nice. We were all out of them. A sword we can't use. A rough stone. Cloak we might be able to use, and uh, some food we don't necessarily need. But this cloak is 9 on the back. We have a 10 on the back, so that is not useful for us. Thanks, but no thanks. I guess that will get us a little bit of silver when we sell off all of the useless things we just picked up. I'll head off towards... Uh, no, we're, we will not head off towards that peace balloon because there's a lot of gnomes up there. So, we will move right along to greener pastures. Now, these turn ins are back in. Oh, we're not going the way we want to go, though. We want to head down here, which is not the way that road goes. So, let's grab this guy. That spell isn't ready yet. Of course, we're going to pull both, because why wouldn't we? But these guys are not super high level, but we should be just fine. Both of them in, we just level. This was not in my contract. What's in it for me? We are now level ten, which I believe is when we're going to have some more quests to pick up. What is this along here? A little um, outpost from Brunel Village. Just looks like they're sort of abandoned little things. What are you? Iron Forge. And you're just a supplier. Well, I guess we'll empty some bags, because we just picked up a bunch of stuff. So let's empty them out. Uh, not the things we need, but the sword that we can't use, the back that was no good, the rough stone, because I couldn't be bothered, leather collar, because we've been too lazy to figure out what that's for, um, the staff, because it looks cool, but we can't use it. Scroll of Protection. Increase armor by 60 for 30 minutes. Maybe we should pop that on. We are going to pop that on. Uh, you've got a recipe for Brilliant Small Fish, which happens to be what we've caught. So why don't we grab that and learn that recipe. That'll be useful. And then why don't we pop on our Scroll of Protection because we have it, so why not? 
Uh, nope, I just put the scroll of protection on her instead of on me. So that's a good job by me. I'm awesome at this game. And <laughs> we will continue on without protection. What is this? Decayed strength. More like decayed intellect, but, you know, whatever. Uh, this appears to be walking us into a hill, but if I didn't know any better, I would say that that might be a way up. So apparently our imp has found someone to fight. We'll allow it. There we go. Now we will take on this bear and see if we can climb up there and see where this what this quest here is all about there we go we should probably kill the boars because that's one of the few cooking recipes that we actually have so we'll keep that in mind. Um, so it looks like that wooden platform, whatever that is, um, is where we want to be. But it doesn't look like we can get there from here. So let's continue going um, and try to find another way up. Yeah, we'll kill some boars. We were just talking about that. What's in it for me? Maybe I should pick boars harder than the five boars. If we're gonna start killing them all. Whatever. I guess, of course, it gives us the ribs, which we have the recipe for, but we have to get our cooking up to 25 before we can learn the recipe. So that's kind of what we're trying to do now, I guess. A level 6 boar. I think we'll let him be. We've got a bunch of herbs coming up here, so that's nice. Still not seeing a way up that mountain. Although on the mini-map here, it looks like there's something there that I should do, be aware of. Where is this? Oh, here it is. Okay. Why don't... You, Mr. Imp, go make yourself busy while well, I gather herbs. And he says uh, something that I can't quite understand. Um, that looks like a path up. Uh, but hold on, we've got earth root. Oh, that's good. We don't have earth root yet. And we just discovered some are new. Uh, so you go. Uh, there we go. You go do that. Let me find this earth root. Requires herbalism 15. And we are at 13. Of course we are. Of course we would be just short of where we need to be to get that. So let's grab this peace bloom. And we will let you do that. And we will also have you do that. So gonna, of course, he's going to interrupt me. again. Interesting. We've not had, we've had some very good luck in not failing, but all of a sudden we fail a bunch and then it gives us four. So I will take it. Uh, we'll go up this path. We still need one more herb to pick. I know I see the silver leaf over there. We're not gonna go for that just yet though.
Now circle around here. And there's a bar. Didn't get him. So now it appears as though we're between mountains. Old Ice Beard. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What's in the Um, in any case, we're between mountains and we want to be up. We want to, we want to be able to get up here. But it doesn't appear as though there's a way. Can we scale this? There's no way we can. Oh, we can. Here. Which is... Well, there's a flag up here. I don't know what's going on in this area. There's, I can't it appears to be something built here. Some sort of structure put in place. Um, hmm. Can we continue upward and get to whatever that is up here? It looks like maybe we can. Okay, I didn't think we were going to be able to scale that, but we were able to. And we have found Tundra McGurney. And he looks like he's outside of some sort of cave. Yeah. What does he want? Stolen stash. Had a month's worth of dried meat salted and locked away from the cold season. Kept it locked so the bears wouldn't get it. But while I was off hunting deer, that beast, old ice beard, made off with the meat locker. He won't be able to smash through that thorium, though. But I'll starve if I can't get my meats back. You seem a bit more stealthy than me. Perhaps you could retrieve my stash. I'll never make it in and out of that cave fast enough with this bum leg of mine. Okay. Old Ice Spirit's Cave. Yeah, Watch we will do that. And he had another. I enjoy camping in this cave, but as long as Old Ice Spirit makes his home near this area, then I'll never be safe from him raiding my food. It would make for a great trophy if you could bring me his beard. Not to mention making this place safer. Of course, so we're going to have to kill him. Which is fine, because if we're raiding his cave, then I imagine that we would want him dead before we try to do such a thing. So this is just a empty little cave there. Uh, well, we already saw Old Ice Beard down at the bottom of this hill, so there's no mystery in where he is. Is that him? He's 11 and he's an elite. So, we may not actually be able to take him on. Um, but we're going to try. I will throw everything at him that we've got. And see how it goes. It's very, very hard, and we have no chance whatsoever of killing him. Uh, we're going to use our potion so we can maybe get out of here. And we're not going to get out of here. <laughs> Alright, well, he uh, is a little too tough for us at the moment. So... Our best walk back is just going to be this way, isn't it? Yeah. So, Old Icebeard 
being an elite. Um, not really able to solo him. So we'll have to come back to him. We'll, we'll do some other stuff. Get a couple more levels. And then we'll come back to him. He definitely hit like a truck. And continuing right along. So what else are we going to do? We're going to do a turn in. Uh, that's the one that we sort of glitched out the unguarded barrel. We're not going to be able to do that. Uh, these two were both to do with uh, old ice beard there. Um, and we're unable at the moment. So we will do this turn in and then I guess we'll head over here. Okay, well, right. We wanted to bring the barley brew to his brother. Um, we missed the turn while we were looking at the map, didn't we? Uh, so we wanted to bring that brew over to the guy's brother on the other side of the map. Uh, which makes sense because we've pretty much finished up what we can do in this zone. I, I'm just all sorts of lost at the moment. There we go. This is what we wanted. Uh, we've pretty much finished up what we can do in this area for now. And we'll come back to do old ice beard uh, a little bit later. So it makes sense that they've given us a quest that sent us towards our next area where we can start doing some fighting. So there's that. And that. Uh, of course, let's also turn on our find herbs. And off we go. And of course, we know we have this earth root that we can't quite get. We're one herb short of being able to pick it. And there's nothing close enough by that we can just run and pick it and then come back unfortunately. So where are we headed? All right, well, we'll pick this road up and head back to Karanos and turn in our Operation Recombobulation or whatever that's called. And then I think we'll dip into the inn and we'll take ourselves a small break and uh, that'll That'll finish off this episode. I can't remember what we're getting from recombobulation. We've, we picked that up so long ago now, and only now just got to finishing it. I don't remember what it gives us. Uh, I also don't know that there's not a follow-up to it, actually. Uh, perhaps there's a follow-up that's going to bring us over to the next zone we're headed to. Um, seems to be how these quests usually go. When you're just about finished up with one zone, there'll be a few quests to take you on to the next one. Uh, and we see we have one so far. I wouldn't be surprised if there were a second. Uh, we will let him do that while we pick this. Do I have to? Also, would we get to Karanos? Uh, wow, look at all the herbs there are to pick now. Whew. Um, anyway, when we get to Karanos, we are going to be able to pick up some new skills from our warlock trainer. So that will be nice.
And apparent nope, that's the uh you know what, let's make this go away. We gotta shift click. And now it's gone. I don't know what that error was. <laughs> I think I just clicked it twice so the first time I got rid of it and the second time it said I don't know what you're talking about, it's gone. I believe is what just happened. We'll run off and grab this piece of bloom. I don't really understand why this guard is out here. Just constantly killing this poor small leopard over and over again. And this turns in straight ahead. Right, I remember this building. It's uh, sort of built into this mountain here. It's kind of a, a little bunker built into the side of the mountain. As many of the structures around here seem to be uh, bunkers built into mountains. Kind of cool looking. You need assistance? All right, the recombobulator will be up and running as soon as we have sufficient restabilization cogs and gyro mechanic gears. Well, we've got them for you. These gyro mechanic gears and the restabilization cogs are in perfect accordance with Aussie schematics for the recombobulation device. Once I add some hydro lubricant to the inner combustion pistons, adjust the crank or ratchet, and increase of the viscosity of the electro gum get electro gum gel the gnomish race will be as good as new okay well that's good I'm glad to hear that um, I don't think that we want either one of you those have a great day now. We'll take that. oh now he's gonna he's gonna do it let's watch let's watch history be made here Installing the gears, just gonna fire it up. All right, go ahead, my man. Pull the crank. Time to save the whole race. Here goes nothing. What? I didn't. Oh, I guess it. I guess it didn't work. Cause whoa. Well, All right. Well, he says it didn't work and his machine is now uh, breaking. So let's get out of here. That was not what we wanted to. Now we're stuck in this uh, first person view. Awesome. Let's head back to our trainer very quickly, pick up a couple of new skills and take a rest at the end. Okay. Greetings. So we've got Drain Soul. Drains the soul of the target, causing 55 shadow damage over 15 seconds. The target dies while being drained and yields experience or honor. The caster gains a soul shard. Right? That is what we want. And I believe we can turn that soul shard into, yes, into a health stone. So that is fantastic. We will get that. Uh, we have a stronger demon skin now available to us. So we'll get that as well as well as a stronger emulate. All right, well, we just uh, up to the game quite a bit. I wish we had those when we tried to take on old Icebeard. Maybe it could have made the difference. But uh, let's just do a, a real quick replace. Uh, drain soul we're gonna put on to zero because that's sort of like a special that's it's channeled it does damage but it's not something we're gonna use all the time 
Uh, fear, we never hotkeyed. I like to put that on 8, just because 8 is what I had polymorph on my mage. And fear is kind of the same thing. It's like, a, I don't want to deal with you right now to go away kind of thing. Um, so that's what we'll do there. We'll update our demon skin. And we will update our emulate. And we also then should have yeah talent points available i don't know we'll look into this uh next time because i don't know what i want to do with that and it's about time for a break so thank you for joining me today i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time